Hey, what's up, Super Dads? Hopefully you can hear me. I'm outside. Uh, there are helicopters and stuff flying around, construction, because I live in the city. But I will speak loudly so that it hopefully it comes through. What I want to demonstrate today is a hack that you can use if you have access to some sort of high anchor point of some sort. Uh, that could be something that you put in the top of your door. Um, it could even be the top of a door if you if you don't mind rubbing your doors a little bit with something that you're using. Uh, I've got a pull-up bar up here that uh, I'm using, so if you have one of those, this will work great. Then all you need is some sort of, sort of strap. You could use like a long towel or something like that. Uh, I've, I'm going to use my World Fit Ice Trainer because I have it and it's perfect for this, but it doesn't need to be this, doesn't need to be anything fancy to use. And all you're going to do is obviously loop that over the top of whatever your anchor point is. And this is a hack for doing tricep press downs at home. You know the press down machine that you see in gyms? It's one of the most like basic, fundamental, you see it everywhere, so it's ubiquitous tricep exercises. And it's a good one, it lets you load up a lot, you can get a decent stretch in the triceps up here, you can really contract at the bottom. It's not my favorite tricep exercise, you can check that out in another video, I'll put it at the end of this one, but it's a good one. Of course, doing it at home is tough, if you don't have some sort of pulley system set up and you know unless you have a pretty serious home gym or something like that yeah there are makeshift setups that you can use but I don't like them too much the weights swing around it doesn't feel good so this is what I've gotten into the habit of doing and it works out really well so I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit here so that hopefully you get a better angle on what exactly I'm doing we'll check to see yeah that should be good oh and you get a little bit of my view there <laughs> okay so all I'm going to do is strap this over the top, set up just like you're going to do a tricep press down, but then you're going to do one arm at a time like this. Now, the, re the uh, resistance here is coming from a combination of things. One, there's friction at the top, you can hear it. If I were to just let the friction do the work, it would be it would be semi difficult, but that's going to depend on what kind of what kind of strap you're using and what kind of anchor point you're using. In my case, because of the na nature of the strap and the friction point, there's a there's a semi decent amount of friction. But that's not all I'm doing. I'm also resisting with the the arm that's doing the negative portion of the rep. So as this arm pushes down, my left arm pushes down. My right arm is also continuing to push down. Obviously not hard enough to stop the rep but enough to make it just difficult enough. By doing this, because the negative portion of the rep is harder than the positive portion of the rep, I'm able to make every single positive rep a very difficult positive rep. Like close to a one rep max level difficulty. Ah, you can see me struggling already. But then as we go, I just loosen up on the resistance I'm getting with the negative portion of the rep so that it gets easier and easier, but it's never easy. It's always a one rep max. It's just I have less and less left for each one. Until the point where just the friction on the top is going to be hard enough for me to fail. Probably right about there. Now I would finish this by lining them up and doing an isometric press down right here to really sap the rest of the strength. And then I would stretch it out here. And I'm keeping tension in the muscles. I'm keeping tension in the muscles as I do this. So I'm not just stretching it. It's like a tension stretch. Or an elongated isometric might be another way to think of it. And that's going to burn like crazy. Assuming you did it right. Okay, so what we have here is something I've taken to calling an adaptive drop set because whereas with a normal drop set, you go until you can't do it anymore, you lower the weight, you do some more. With this one, there's no need to like stop the rep at all, 
the, the stop the set at all, you're not changing weights necessarily. All you're doing is using the resistance from the rest of your body to match the amount of strength that you're able to output with the, you know, the target muscle so that you're always in that zone of you know, like 70, 80, 90% of max effort, which is helping you accumulate time to your failure, which is my pet term. <laughs> One that I think is really useful for this, this adventure called hypertrophy. So I hope that that's useful for everyone. Check it out. I think it's a great hack. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.